Hey guys, I'm Cosmo, and on today's video, we're gonna be making Philly cheesesteak fries, so let's fire it up. Hey, I'm Cosmo. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn everything about barbecue and grilling, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, guys, so today is gonna to be an awesome one. We're gonna make Philly cheesesteak fries, and I've, I, I gotta admit, I've never done this before, but we're not freaking building watches. It can't be that hard. So what we did here is we bought a six inch prime rib roast. We trimmed the fat off. I know the haters are gonna hate, but the reason why is once we go to slice that up, uh, that exterior fat with that membrane, it won't run through the slicer. We did put an hour freeze on this too, so even with that membrane on the outside, it doesn't uh, tend to bode well for our slicer. So that's why we peel it off. We just threw that to the side. We'll go ahead and save that for hamburger sausage grinding. And in here we have one medium yellow onion, two green bell peppers, and two jalapenos. And we're gonna go ahead and get the, get the vegetables on our fire disc over here and get them sauteing. We're gonna prep this steak. People always say you gotta keep the fat. You gotta keep the fat. But in actually this, you, this is kind of a version you you really don't want to. And the reason being, this is a membrane right here. And when we try to run this through the slicer, it's not gonna work. Now what we are gonna do is save all this for hamburgers. And I highly recommend you guys have a storage of this stuff like we do. We freeze it all and then when we get to that point of the season, that's exactly what we do, is take all this stuff up and grind it up for hamburgers and stuff. This is perfect. This is exactly how you want to slice cheesesteaks. I'm gonna see if I can get a little more of this. Not too much. There's still so much fat and flavor in these that uh, you're gonna be golden. This is what you want to save. Just throw it to the side, put it in the freezer. So what we're gonna do is just roll this up because I wanna get it in as much of a ball, a round ball as I can. And then twist it up. You wanna set this in the freezer for about, a, about an hour and a half. And in here we have one medium yellow onion, two green bell peppers, and two jalapenos. And we're gonna go ahead and get the, get the vegetables on our fire disc over here and get them sauteing. So what we got here is just about uh, a three inch chub of Kerrygold uh, butter. going to go ahead and get some steak on here and I have these cut into about quarter inch pieces I'll get broke up as we go What 
we're going to season them with. Dirty bird hot. We got these done, and so we're gonna put them over here, plate them up till our fries get done. They smell amazing. So what we got here is just some just some shoestring taters. We're gonna go ahead and get them fried up. All right, let's get these fries going. Man, this smells amazing, guys. I'm sorry to do this to you on video. Worse off, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to eat this in front of you. Get the cheese whiz going. There you have it guys, Philly cheesesteak fries done Cosmo's way. Hey guys, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and go ahead and ring that notification bell for videos just like this.